2014, I was standing on a beach in Tijuana, Mexico, watching a theater performance. This was part of a global theater conference that I was attending, and the Mexican theater company had wanted to do their performance on that beach because it's at the tail end of Friendship Park. Friendship Park is where the long border fence that separates the U.S. and Mexico is. People come to this park to see their loved ones and family members through the slats in the fence. So I'm there. I'm watching this theater piece, and this incredibly beautiful actress has climbed up onto the fence, and she's hanging there, and she's turning around and just fiercely performing Antigone. They had taken the Greek tragedy and placed it in Mexico, investigating borders and torn families. And I'm watching this performance, and I'm looking around at my theater colleagues, and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be incredible if this audience was instead made up of, I don't know, members of an anti-immigration group? Or people who work border control? I mean, would hearing this story, would seeing the passion of these performers, would it make them approach their views and their work in a more compassionate and empathetic way? How do we learn compassion and empathy? As humans, we're constantly searching for the tools that we need to interpret the things that we experience every day, right? Watching theater from another country or culture is a tool to help us understand the world around us. Theater humanizes world events and politics. It three-dimensionalizes the nameless and the faceless. It gives voice to the voiceless. Theater connects us. I'm the artistic director of Trick Lock Company. <laughs> we are a 24-year-old theater ensemble based here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Part of our mission is opening doors to global cultural exchange by connecting people through the performing arts. We do this in a variety of different ways. We tour internationally where we perform and we teach workshops, engage with the community. We facilitate international collaborations. And we produce the Revolutions International Theater Festival, where for three weeks, every year, we bring companies from all over the world to New Mexico for performances and workshops and gatherings, symposium lectures, parties, a lot of parties, because we're theater people, we like to party. And we do this because we know that exposure to global theater, it increases mutual understanding. It inspires change. It empowers people to improve the overall quality of life for all people. Because theater is the story of us. It's the story of people, of culture, of politics, of myth, of dreams, of history. In December of 2016, I had the great fortune of being able to see a little bit of a new work that was in progress by a Polish theater company, Tiat Figur Krakow. Um, so this one particular part that I got to see was a piece that they were working on in collaboration with the Oscar Schindler Enamel Factory. The piece was inspired by photographs and memoirs of people who lived in the Jewish ghetto in Krakow. It tells the story of life in the ghetto, the ways that people maintain tradition, their resistance against the Nazis, how they would smuggle in kosher food and other things into the ghetto, and their heroic attempts at preserving dignity and creating community. And they tell this story, this Polish theater company, with Shadow puppets. So um, I'm watching this piece, and they have these huge suitcases that they open up, and they become these big screens. 
And you can see the actors, they're on stage on either side, dressed all in black, the puppeteers, manipulating everything from behind. And the light comes up and this incredible scene comes alive. There's buildings and roads and, you know, small stores. They had recreated the ghetto. And then your eye goes up to the top flat of this building where there's this little mouse. And she's, you know, eating dinner with her family. And then you see her come down the stairs and she's playing in the street with her friends and she's going to the store. And, you know, there's music coming out of the speakers in the theater. And then off in the distance, you start to hear the sound of marching. And it gets louder and louder. And this little mouse starts to shake. And it gets louder and louder. And this ferocious flock of birds comes into the screen. And they're just circling around, looking and looking. And this little mouse is trying to hide. She's going into the buildings. And she's running up and down the street, just looking for anywhere. And these ferocious birds circling, hunting. Finally, she finds this one little spot where she's able to sort of shove herself down and drop and hide in the sewer. And I just started to cry. It was so terrifying. I mean, it's just theater, right? It's puppets. I have been to the Oscar Schindler Enamel Factory. It's a museum now, an amazing museum. I have been to where a piece of the ghetto wall still stands in Krakow, Poland. And both of these places were powerful impactful places. But that theater piece, that little mouse, I will never forget the way that made me feel. Theater connects us. We have so much information coming at us all the time, right? We're always on our phones, and there's all these articles about world affairs, and then there's these really intense comment threads that we can't help but read. It's just all the time, all the time. How do we not just shut off in here? How can we stay open, compassionate, empathetic with so much coming at us? We can go to the theater, <laughs> and we can watch real people tell us their stories. Right? These are our stories. I was exposed to international theater in my early 20s, and it completely changed my life. I felt like I learned more about people, about culture, about country. I felt connected to them. There were people from all over the world sharing their stories with me. And their stories were radically different and exactly the same as my story. This past March in 2017, during our 17th annual festival, one of the companies that we brought was Ndede Troupe. Ndede is a company from Uganda. They're a dance company. They perform indigenous dance from East Africa, mainly from Uganda, but also Rwanda and Burundi. And their show incorporates song and music, and they tell stories. It's an amazing, beautiful, lovely show. And while they were here, we also organized a regional tour around New Mexico, and we facilitated an exchange between Ndede from Uganda and a Diné charter school in Navajo, New Mexico. This was Friday before spring break, so, you know, the kids are like, like, like you know, like, I don't want to listen to a lecture about Africa. It's terrible. <laughs> but then <laughs> they started to hear the drums from outside, and then the dancers just burst in, and they're playing these huge adungus, which are these large wooden trumpets, and they're in their traditional attire, and they're dancing, and the kids just lit up, and there's song, and dancing, and story, and afterwards the kids sang a Diné song for the Ugandan dancers. And after the performance, there was a question and answer session, and the questions got really real and honest. I remember one of the questions specifically was, Diné people used to eat a plant-based diet, but 
Uh, after colonization, we switched to a more unhealthy American diet. Did the same thing happen to you in Uganda? And they had this really honest conversation about colonization. One student told me, he said that he felt so connected to the dancers, even though they were an ocean away. And this whole exchange, it began with performance. So I encourage you, please go see international performances. I promise it will change you. If you're traveling abroad, go to the theater. Check out what's happening in your town. Don't worry if it is not in a language that you, if it's in a language that you don't understand. Don't worry if it looks totally weird and like wackadoo. Just go. Because theater is about stories. It's about connection. And we need to be sharing stories on a global level. We should be connected. How can we share space with someone, listen to their story, connect with them, and then turn around and treat them as subhuman? We can't. Theater humanizes all of us. 